Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Gradient 3D node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got a uh, little setup here. So if we wanted to create a uh, gradient on this little sphere here, we could using the Gradient 3D node. So let's go ahead and bring in a Gradient 3D. And uh, make sure you're selecting the one that says 3GD. That is your gradient 3D node. We're going to bring that in. So you notice the uh, gradient node doesn't have any inputs. It's only got a single output. So in order to translate or transform or move this gradient around, we need to use one of two nodes. And one of them is the texture transform node and the other is the uv map 3d node and we need to use one of these to be able to transform this gradient to get the look we're looking for so first we could input straight into our shape if we wanted to and up here we can change our color change our color let's uh just grab a purple and let's make this uh yellow so we can see what's going on and if you notice that's what we get and we really can't move anything so in order to be able to see what's going on with this we need to be able to move this uh gradient around so first let's go ahead and bring in a Ward node, and it can be any uh, texture node. We're going to bring this into our diffuse color and bring this into our material. And as you can see, we still can't really see what's going on with this node. So we're, we're getting the middle. We can change our scale if we want, make it larger or bigger, but you notice there's really nothing happening and it's not really looking like a gradient. So let's go ahead and first, let's use the UV map. And in order to use the UV map, we need to make sure this goes uh, after our shape. So we're going to bring this in right here. And now we can start seeing that gradient. And within our UV map node, the uh, map mode we want to make sure we're using is actually XYZ to UVW. This gives us the uh, greatest control when we're uh, controlling these gradients. So here in the UV map node, now we can uh, change our size of our gradient on the X, Y, and the Z. And uh, we can change the center on the X, the Y, and the Z so we can get the look we're looking for. And we can also rotate it on the X, the Y, and the Z. But if you notice, if you look at what's happening to our reflection, it's changing that entire map. So this is something you want to watch while you're uh, getting the look you're looking for. But for right now, let's just go ahead and leave this here. Let's jump into our gradient node. Now our gradient types, we have different types. We have linear. We have reflect, which is just going to reflect the gradients on both sides. And if we skip down here, obviously these are our colors for our gradients and you can add multiple colors just like on the uh, background node. We have interpolation space and basically what interpolation space is doing for us is allowing us to change how that uh, color is interpolated from point to point. So if you're not getting your colors correct, you can change your different modes to uh, try to get the color you want and how that's interpolating from one point to the other point. Down here we have our scale, which is gonna change the scale of the overall gradient. And down here we have offset, which is gonna allow you to kind of pan through that gradient. And under our repeat, we have three repeat modes. We have once, that means it's just going to happen once. If 
we have repeat it's going to keep repeating but if you notice it's going to be a hard repeat once it restarts again and we have ping pong which is actually going to if i could bring the scale down you can see it's going to ping pong the gradients back and forth so we've got repeat once and ping pong and down here we have sub pixel and all this does is it uh, allows you control the accuracy of the gradient so you can do one by one or five by five so select whatever uh, best works for your gradient now back up to the gradient type as i said we had linear we have reflect we have a square and uh let's see if we can find this square and you can slowly start seeing it come in if we ping pong it we can probably see it a little better so that is the square and then we have cross and then we have radio Now, another way to uh, transform this gradient instead of using this UV map is using the texture transform. And the texture transform should go after your texture. We can put it here and transform up here. We can translate all that. Kind of get the look we're looking for. But I find it tends to work a little better if we put it after our actual material. So from here, we can uh, transform on the U, the V, and the W. And we can change our scale. And the U, the V. And the W, we can rotate it on the U, the V, and the W. So both of these texture transform and UV map are going to do great. It just depends on the look you're looking for to determine which one you're using. Just remember, if you are using the UV map, it needs to go after your shape. And your texture transform can either go after your main material or after your gradient, if you would like. So that is the gradient 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.